They roast 1206. Two double C. 20 past nine on the Sunday roast. Ian Meikle and Eddie Williams with you this morning. And we left you on the cliffhanger. And we wanted to find out why you should date multiple men at the same time. And to explain why, Karina Chapman is a conscious connection and dating expert and the author of Adventure Vixen, a modern dating tale. Karina, good morning and happy Valentine's Day to you. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Ian. Ian? It's Ian. Uh, Karina, do you believe in love? Absolutely. Yeah? Definitely. What's this, what's this sort of dragging women around uh, multiple men? <laughs> it sounds rather unseemly to me. It does, doesn't <laughs> it? <laughs> well, it's not for everyone, that's for sure. Well, but why? Why do you think it's yeah, not for, for so women to date uh, women who, who are in the dating stage, of course, uh, date absolutely. multiple men? Why? Because often when we have had previous heartbreak, we're not really ready to go out and risk it again for love. The pain's too new. So by having multiple guys that you're dating at once, it helps you to avoid heartbreak and adds adventure into your life, but also it gives you an opportunity to learn. So you get like a speed learning opportunity to figure out what the ideal qualities of your ideal man actually are. So you gain clarity on their core traits, on their values, and on the interest that you're looking for in a future partner. How shallow I feel as a man, then. <laughs> <laughs> you make it sound like, you know, diversifying your investments. <laughs> <laughs> but could, do, you run the, do you run the risk of, uh, of having five times as many uh, heartbreaks? Well, no, because the other idea is to actually date men that have got a couple of deal-breaking flaws. Mm. So, for example, if you were in the stage where you did, definitely didn't want to have children, if you chose to date a guy that does want children desperately, then you know for sure it's not going to be a long-term thing. Mm. So it takes that pressure off. You can just enjoy each other's company, learn a few things about yourself and about who it is that you want to bring into your life when you're ready, and just gives you that bit more emotional stability. Yeah, you say emotional stability. It seems like a contradiction that um, uh, that uh, you're going out with a with a, a small posse of men. Uh, <laughs> how do you get? How can you get uh, stability out of that? Yep. So firstly, you want to be open and honest. Mm. A lot of people are in the mode of just wanting to casually date, not risk their heart for love. And if you're open and honest about it then you can actually have a good start of a friendship. Mm. And whether you sleep with people or not, it's completely up to you. Obviously, you want to be safe about it. But it is really about the emotional stability of if you're dating one person and you don't hear for them for hours, it actually seems like forever or days, yeah. you know, and it really causes a lot of emotional turmoil. Whereas if you're getting messages from multiple guys you're dating, to be honest, you don't even notice if you haven't heard from one of them in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> now, you also say, uh, you mentioned um, uh, virtue of having a full calendar. Absolutely. Why is that so, a benefit? <laughs> so, being unavailable actually increases your attractiveness. Uh, you know, we always want what we don't have. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, instead of pretending to be busy on Valentine's Day, yeah. you might actually have a date or three to choose from. <laughs> Well, okay. I, uh, are you listening to this, Eddie? Well, I am busy today because <laughs> we're here, aren't we? <laughs> Not quite the romance I uh, I was oh. had in mind for you. Um, all right. <laughs> well, uh, talking of the day, is Valentine's Day a good thing to have? Oh, look, I Does think it it's a great reminder. A great reminder to show the love, you know, that we have for our partners, but. I don't know that we need to be reminded just on one day per year. Mm. It should be shown all throughout the year. Mm. And there's a lot of pressure on Valentine's Day and a lot of commercialism now, so I feel like you know, it is it is good for some, but others it's a high pressure day and they want to get it right. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, you, is it a? Do you think Valentine's Day is more a girls' thing than than guys? 
Look, no woman is going to say no to flowers on Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. I really don't. You know? we, of course, the girls do love you know, receiving things and giving as well. And some men really like the opportunity to show the one that they love some extra thought, while the others feel like it's just so much pressure to try and meet their partner's Valentine's Day expectations. And yet, Karina, I, mean, I can recall back uh, Valentine's Day, it was, it was a more secret thing that one would send... Um, unsigned cards and uh, uh, and that uh, a gal who's received two or three would be wondering who these suitors were. Look, I love the mystery of secret Valentine. Oh, do you? And <laughs> I think it should come back a lot more. <laughs> well, you can have too much of a good thing because I was reading that uh, uh, Janice Ian, the singer, uh, she received uh, 461 St. Valentine's Day cards on uh, in 1977 as a result of a hit song called At 17, where there was a line in the song that says uh, uh, about not receiving any St. Valentine's Day cards. Some fans took it uh, to that extreme. Uh, can you have too much of a good thing? Well, I don't know about that. I mean, she would certainly be feeling a lot of love getting that many Valentines. But you go crazy just... not knowing who it's from. Well, it might drive you crazy. That is so true. Actually, a few of my girlfriends and I that are single, we were chatting and saying, perhaps what we should do is send each other flowers on Valentine's Day, probably to our work, so that everyone at work wonders, you know, oh, where, did, where did she get that from? Well, I've heard of women doing this, and they call it Galentine's Day, and I think maybe they do it the day before or something, where they send, you know, to other female friends flowers or chocolates or, or you know, nice messages or whatever it might be. Absolutely. There's no reason for it to be just partners only, or someone that you're romantically interested in. You know, spread the love in all ways, I say. Yeah, I still haven't got the uh, chocolates from you, Eddie, but I'm... <laughs> the day is young. <laughs> uh, uh, now, the other, the other pitfall, of course, if you don't know who it is, is uh, fishing, which you may say to some uh, handsome bo uh, potential beau, um, thanks for the card. And he'd look at you and go, what card? <laughs> yeah, you can get it horribly wrong. That could be awkward. Hey, but then also that lets him know that, you know, other people are interested here. I'm not so available, so it might actually increase your attractiveness. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and we all know where that gets you. That's right. <laughs> well, generally on love and, and dating, uh, we've all gone through a terrible year, and it's probably set back uh, uh, some of the ambitions of, uh, of some young people uh, and their ability to, to catch up and meet. Uh, do you think we need more love now we're slightly out of the COVID woods? Absolutely. I mean, with more people that have been staying at home or being in isolation, they've had a lot more time for self-reflection mm. as well. Uh -huh. And, you know, realising that, you know, the friends and family and relationships that you've got are so important and that connection. So, you know, it helps you to grow love and appreciation for the others and the value that they're bringing to our lives. So... More love the better, I say. So no, Zoom sex isn't everything it should, it's backed up to be. <laughs> well, I guess it depends on your partner, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, Karina Chapman, thank you very much for your time this morning. Thanks, Karina. You're so welcome. Karina Chapman, conscious connection and dating expert and author of Adventure Vixen, a modern dating tale. If you have some thoughts on 